Holy fuck, it's the nihilistic snake. Hey guys, I am Dark Sakata 29. Formerly known as the Direct Messenger 88. Yes, I'm switching over to a text-to-speech program, since I hate how robotic my voice sounds. Now, I at least don't have to waste time recording lines. And yes, I'm using a female voice. Because I like feeling feminine. Now, there's an unknown commentator named Tyler Golden Yoshi, who made a commentary on Dude Commentaries, who made a commentary on Dude Doodle Tones, who made a commentary on Dab Dude, who made a commentary on Dude Doodle Tones, who made a commentary on Borg Productions, that got cancelled but uploaded anyway because Borg fucked up again, who made a fucking rant on Mind Out of Sync. And it's all based around the 2010's favorite topic on Tumblr. Fucking transsexuals. Even though this should be a 6th degree commentary, Tyler leaves at degree 0, 1, and 2. This will be my longest interjection of this entire video BTW. Disclaimer. This video is meant to give criticism to the target of this video. Failed. As well as not. Failed. Any jokes I make in this video are nothing more than that. Please do not spam hate comments and or dislikes on the target. Yes, instead dislike bomb the fuck out of my video. I think this'll be the only time where I can say Dick Sponge is good at something and not get flack for it. Text doesn't work for you, mate. It's boring and comes off as extremely lazy in your case. There's nothing visually interesting going on and there's no soundtrack to chill to. Could've just recorded yourself saying this, or put some actual effort. Why are you essentially feeding the problem by trying to become a girl? The problem? The starving African children problem? The my ex is stalking me problem? The I can't tie my shoes problem? Oh wait, we're talking about if trannies are gay. So then, the problem the relationships between individuals suffering from gender dysphoria in their families? Tyler, it's gonna take a lot more than a basic description to provide context. What problem with trans people is he talking about? You're plopping us nearly 10 minutes into the video with so much left up to the imagination of the audience. My point is a problem is too fucking generalized. Well, whatever. At least you know it's a mental illness. Hey! Never felt this offended before. Like, I'm not even offended that you said it, more offended that you believe this to be a legitimate point. So, why do I contribute to a problem by having gender dysphoria which I consider to be a mental illness? Are you aware of what you're arguing here, sir? You're asking why one would choose to have a mental illness. Hey, schizophrenics, why have schizophrenia when you know it's absolute hell? Hey, even with PTSD, you are aware it's an issue, so how about we get over it? Hey, medic depressives, don't contribute to the problem, just kill yourselves! Many of the things you just listed can't be controlled, but from my research, gender dysphoria is something that can be somewhat controlled. Source, please, because I think you're full of shit. Some quotes for you, in case you're wondering. Holy fucking shit. I don't believe that you could be this fucking spastic. It took the guy literally three seconds after your interjection to provide a source. Might not be linked in the description, but it's still an example to back up an argument. Hell, it doesn't even have to be a good example. Any kind of example would debunk this. Symptoms of GID in children may include any of the following. Disgust at their own genitalia, social isolation from their peers, anxiety, loneliness, and depression. And for adults, adults with GID are at increased risk for stress, isolation, anxiety, depression, poor self-esteem, and suicide. Now while these may all sound really bad at face value, and I get it, some people do genuinely face some of these things, do remember that these are all only possible symptoms. No, idiot. The quotes you showed did not support your point at all. Moron. Care to elaborate how it didn't? YouTube dude did it better, you frick. Like in those commercials you see for medicines, which lists just about every single side effect known to man, just in case you happen to experience one. From what I can tell, the main driver of gender dysphoria is the first one, discussed at their own genitalia. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I see the others as things that can happen to anybody else, whether they have gender dysphoria or otherwise. Holy shit! How do you say that, then edit the video where you say that, and leave it in? Because I wasn't trying to compare controllable and uncontrollable mental diseases. Look, here's a simplified version. Some people get mad or upset at certain situations and simply cannot control an emotional outburst if something is wrong. Like some people with Asperger's or autism. However, a majority of the population can control themselves when they get angry or upset. In this case, while yes you do indeed have gender dysphoria, it's not like you can't control yourself from realizing your circumstances, and choosing to accept things the way they are. You have not even once proved that gender dysphoria is controllable. YOU FUCKING MORON! Have you ever thought about what you have been saying? Have you ever thought about what you have been saying? Actual thought can come in handy to debunk an argument. 
Jesus Christ, you haven't even properly debunked him enough to actually say this. Did it not once occur to you that maybe people don't actually have a choice in the matter over whether or not they have something considered a mental illness? Again, controllable versus uncontrollable. Moron. Gee. Today I'm going to be teaching you what the 2016 dance move is going to be. It's going to be called the Venus. So, we're going to dance the other skin. It would be really great if guys could stay guys and girls could stay girls. <sighs> but I can only hope, I suppose. So you don't want trans people to be happy? Why? Isn't that a little bigoted? Oh boy. And here we get into the, you just don't want people to be happy. Dude, Argument. what the fuck's up with the guilt tripping? Oh yeah, and I got an argument that works much more fittingly at a later interjection. So Crowder, take it away. But the language we use, and we're going to get something really important here because he abandoned his wife and kids, the culture of me, and that's what the LGBTQ AI and Asylum F transgender movement is about, the social justice warrior movement. It's about me and my personal happiness. Assigned at birth, like a doctor, took the baby out of the womb, looked at it, said, oh, there's a penis. What do we choose to assign this? Mm, I don't know. Let's oppress him with mail. That'll be good. That'll screw her up. Here's the problem, right? If you say this, this is hateful. This is clearly somebody who's mentally disturbed. This is somebody who is mentally unhealthy. And unless you accommodate their delusion, Ben Shapiro's talked about this. It is a delusion. You're considered hateful. My brain is head desking against my skull. The subject in question is a 52-year-old man who wants to become a 6-year-old girl. What the fuck are you getting at here? I'm actually struggling to figure out the argument, as you don't bother to do anything to keep your audience in the know. I mean, it would be nice if people didn't have to go through dysphoria, and maybe that's what you meant. Well, yes and no. So, you're saying that trans people should just be happy with being uncomfortable in their own skin? Oh yeah, and I got an argument that works much more fittingly at a later interjection. He was saying how he wishes that people could stick to the genders they were assigned with at birth. Which actually can be interpreted as he wishes for trans people to feel comfortable in their own skin. This faggot's taken way too many straws from his local McDonald's. Today I'm going to be teaching you what the 2016 dance move is going to be. It's going to be called the Venus. So, oh, we're going to dance the other skin. <laughs> so, now it's my turn for my final thoughts. If this were an A for effort type of world we lived in, I would say you did a very good job. You attempted to explain your points and some of them you even tried backing up. Sadly, with some of the claims you made not having any evidence to back them up, Look in the mirror, you fuckwit. Well, that's about it for now. Thank you all for watching, and take care. Screw final thoughts. I need a fucking drink. <sighs> Same. Honestly, I intentionally made this more riff style calm due to how bare bones everything was. Basically, I half-assed.